G'day campers, Brent from Outback Equipment here. If you're like me and you have a crippling caffeine addiction and you can't go a day without a good cup of coffee in the morning, we have got the gear for you. While you're camping, it is almost impossible to find a good cup of coffee in a cup similar to this one here. So what we've got here is a range of coffee equipment to suit everyone's budget and needs. We're gonna run you through them all and have a quick look at them. The quickest and easiest solution for coffee while camping is a drip filter like the ones here from Dog and Gun. We have done a product review on these and if you wanna see how they work, click the link up here and have a look. All right, now, so we've got the AeroPress range here. Uh, you've got the replacement filters, you've got the Go, and you've got the full-size AeroPress. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this one open and we're gonna have a look at what's in the box. As you can see, not a lot going on, but when we pull it all out and pop it all out, there's a fair bit happening. Out of the box, we've got the instruction manual. It gives you a really good idea on how the AeroPress actually works. We've got the scoop and we've also got a stirrer. Up here, we've got a bundle of filters that come with it. There's about 350 filters in there and also a holder for them. Like I said earlier, we do have replacement filters available for these as well. So we've got the funnel here. What we'll do is we'll bring a cup over, we'll stick that guy in there ready to pour a coffee. Here, we've got the plunger and also the filter basket. So we pop the plunger out pop the basket off, we can throw a paper filter in there, clip it back on, sit it in the funnel like that. From here, we'll use our scoop, we'll throw in some coffee grinds, give it a quick stir, throw some boiling hot water in there, and we'll sit the plunger in the top here, and then we'll push down. This will draw the water through the coffee and you'll have a perfect cup of joe. Up next, we've got the Mini Presso range from Wakako. Uh, we've got the two models here, we've got the GR and the NS, and we've also got the Mini Presso kit over here. We're gonna pop out the Mini Presso GR, out of the box, you'll see it's in a nice bag. We've also got the instruction manual in here. Just having a look at it here, on the bottom side, you've got the scoop and also a brush in there to clean it out. That's your water tank. Now we're gonna unscrew the end off here. This piece here is where you put your coffee grinds. Pop that back in there, use your scoop to actually pour the coffee grinds in there and then pat it down. Pop it all back together. Then you untwist the front here from the travel position to the outer position, so that's your plunger. And from here, once you've got hot water in the water tank and also coffee in the other end, pump that one up about eight times, it'll start flowing, and you just keep pumping it until the coffee stops coming out. If you're out on the trail hiking and you have the Mini Presso in your backpack, but you don't want to carry a bag of additional coffee, you do have the Mini Presso kit. So we'll just pop this one open, open her up. Got another cup there. In here, we've got an additional water tank, but we also have an additional three baskets for your coffee grinds. So you can have your coffee preloaded and ready to go on the trails. If you pick up one of the mini pressos, make sure you grab a kit as well because these are an absolute essential with this product. Moving on from the mini presso, we're gonna go one better. We're gonna go to the nano presso. Yep, let's pop a nano presso out and have a look. Just undoing the box and the flaps on the box. We've got to make sure you undo them because you're not going to get it out unless you've got them flaps open. We've got the Nano Presso in its protective case. We've also got the instruction manual in there. Definitely a handy one to have with any of these products. We're going to unzip the protective carry case here. It's actually a nice hard case. So it's not a, your, your typical soft case where it could still get damaged. This one will actually take a beating. On the bottom here, we have the cup. We also have the water tank. Inside that, wa inside that water tank, we've got the brush and we've also got our scoop. When the water tank is full of boiling hot water, we do recommend to keep the cup on there just to protect yourself. Uh, you, you can get a bit of heat come through the plastic on this one. Uh, on the top side here, we're gonna unscrew that one. Once again, we've got our basket in there. So you use your scoop, you fill your basket up, you temp it off, chuck it back in there, throw it all back together. We throw our hot water tank on the end here. Untwist this guy, pop her open, and you know, once again, another couple of pumps, and she'll start to flow coffee, and you stop when the coffee stops coming out. So the standard color for the Mini Presso is black, however, it is available in a range of other colors. Uh, there's only a few that we've got showcased here, but there's plenty more available on our site. These are also seasonal, so they're constantly changing, and you know, you can pick up a different one for every month of the year, really. The Nano Presso also has a range of accessories to suit it. Right here, we've got the Nano Presso NS adapter. This one here will allow you to adapt the Nano Presso to use your Nespresso pods. If you want to step up your coffee game, the Barista Kit will allow you to pull a double shot of espresso. All in all, the Nano Presso, a great bit of kit to add to your arsenal. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. All that other gear we've just looked at, that's for your basic bitch. 
Monday to Friday coffee drinker. I know you like to have that high quality coffee. The Pico Presso is for the serious coffee enthusiast. This is gonna be the closest you'll get while camping to a barista made coffee in your campsite. And now you're gonna have a look at what comes inside this box. We're gonna, we're gonna slip off the really fancy box cover. This here is a high quality box. Some would say you're paying for the packaging with this because it's really fing nice. So, we're gonna put our fingers down the side here and slip off the top. In the box, we have the instruction manual. We have a nice hard carry case with Brent's zip of approval. We've got the Pico Presso unit here itself. We have the Pico Presso funnel. We also have the high quality temp just here. This unit works very similar to the previous ones we've looked at in this video. We'll start on the top of the unit. This is our holding tank for the water. It's got a brush in there to clean it out. Um, so you fill that up with your boiling hot water, jam the lid back on. In this end, we'll unscrew it. We've got our basket here where we put our coffee grinds. We've got a scoop in there that we can use as a temp as well, or you use the temp provided with it. Look at that. That's beautiful. The Pico Presso will hold up to 18 grams of coffee in a single pour. Pop it back together. Once we've got the plunger out from the travel position, we pop the cover off the bottom and we pump this one until our coffee comes out. About eight pumps to get the coffee to start flowing and you stop pumping once the coffee stops coming out. Now, I know what you're thinking, Brent. I don't wanna buy coffee beans that are already roasted. I wanna roast them myself. Well, we've got the Dr. Man Handy Roaster, so you can roast your own beans. We're gonna pop her out of the box here. Bang, 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 bang. We're just gonna pop it out of the box here. Now, you look at it and you think, that's just a tennis racket, Brent, you're an idiot. I like that. <laughs> I can't have an open fire in this studio, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that my hand is an open fire. Look at it right here, that's an open fire. But we've got our coffee in there and we're just roasting it, you know what I mean? Like. Just getting right in there and roasting that one. I guess you could say, that's hot. <laughs> what good is coffee without a cup to put it in? So we've got a massive range of cups available on our website. However, I've picked out a handful here to showcase a good array of what you can expect to see on our website. Here, we've got the Hunu cups available in three different sizes and a multitude of different colors. The Hunu cup is a good quality collapsible cup. As you can see here, we've got the 20 ounce set up and rare and ready to go. They do come with a flexible silicon hose, a nice hard lid. This elastic strap here, which is available on all sizes is actually to stop your hands from burning. It also helps hold it all together when you're putting it in your pocket. Another great reason to look into a product like this is that it is collapsible and you can slip it all together. You throw your straw in there like so, flip the lid onto it, jam the strap around it, and you can chuck that bad boy in your pocket and you can take it wherever you want to go. You know, if you want to go for a uh, morning jog down to your local coffee shop, you can take this one with you as well. It's not going to intrude on, you know, how much space you've got in your pockets. From a collapsible style cup, we have a more solid coffee cup. We've got the Wakako Octorama. So this one here is a double insulated stainless steel jobby. Nice heavy lid on it. Uh, it's got a little poppy do there so you can pop it open and have a look. It seals up nicely, keeps your coffee warm. Uh, available in a multitude of colors all on our site. We've also got down to your basic enamel coffee cup from Campfire. Pretty much the staple of any campsite coffee cup. Nice and solid, you know. I hope we've given you a bit of an insight into the range of coffee products we have here at Outback Equipment. This is just a handful of the great products we have available on our site. If you have any questions, hit us in the comments down below. Make sure you give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bean juice make me go fast. That was good. I like that. <laughs>